and welcome back to another video. In this video I'll take you along on the unaffiliated event that Ruffian and I went to at Broadway. Here you can see the cross country course that I walked a couple of days before the event. I personally thought that this cross country course was a really nice ease back into eventing. A few technical questions out on course but all in all a lovely smooth cross country course to ease both rider and horses back into eventing. And then the morning of the show I always like to try and muck out and give myself as little to do as possible when I get back from the event. And then just platting up Ruffian before we leave. And he loads beautifully and then we are ready to head off and luckily Broadway isn't too far away. So a nice smooth journey before we arrive. Hello, so today we are at Broadway doing the unaffiliated 90. Ruff's feeling really well at the moment. Uh, this will be a nice first show back to the season. Cross country is looking quite nice and simple, not asking too much of the horses, which is nice as the first run. So I'm hoping for a nice, safe round. So once I got Ruffy and all tacked up for dressage, we then headed over to the warm up. And as it was the first event back, Ruffian was feeling quite tense and a little bit overexcited, but he seemed to settle just before the dressage, which was good. Now sadly, next to Ruffian there was a whole field full of sheep and baby lambs, so Ruffian found this all too exciting and found it really difficult to concentrate on the job at hand. So throughout this test, my main aim was to try and keep him concentrating and relaxed, which he manages to do throughout parts of the test. And because Ruffian was feeling a little bit overexcited, I thought I would use this to my advantage and really ask him to be nice and forward and off of my leg. And for the first event back, there's obviously lots to look at and lots of other horses. So I was actually really pleased with him for staying as calm as he did with a really busy environment. And me as a rider, I really wanted to focus on making my dressage test as accurate as possible and really riding it to the best of my ability. And here it was two half 20 meter circles changing the rain. And for that we scored a 7.5 which I was really happy about. And at this far end of the arena I found it really difficult to keep his focus on the dressage test as he kept looking up at the sheep. But he was trying really hard to focus for me but it did end up looking like he looked quite tense throughout the whole dressage test. So that will come with more experience when he gets out and about a little bit more. But for his first dressage test back out of venting, he did a really lovely job. And here is his walk transition, which he hollowed a little bit, but didn't start jogging, so I was happy with that. And then across the diagonal was his free walk on a long rein. Again, I was just trying to keep him from not jogging, but also keep the impulsion. Um, but however, he did look up at the sheep again, and didn't really want to go forward into the contact and stretch. But this horse really does have a beautiful walk, so he always overtracks really nicely. And around about now, I was really trying to get his concentration back as we had an upwards transition to trot and then an upwards transition to canter. And they weren't the worst transitions, but they could have definitely been a lot smoother and a lot less hollow. Then in the canter, again, I really tried to keep the impulsion and keep him leg to hand and not allow his head to poke up and for him to hollow over his back. And this 20 meter circle at A, you can really see how much of a slope this dressage arena is on. So I found it really difficult to keep him really uphill. And then I have to prepare him to go across the diagonal in canter and then after X transition down to trot, which he did really beautifully and stayed on a really nice straight line across the diagonal. And for that movement, we got a 7.5. And then preparing for another upward canter transition, which was, in my opinion, worse than the first one because he hollowed and poked his nose up. And for that, we scored a 6.5. And then here we're preparing for another 20 meter circle at A. The rhythm and the tempo of his canter on the right rein is really lovely. And I managed to ride a nice size 20 meter circle. And for this, we got a nice 7.5. And then for his downwards trot transition, we got a seven. And then across our final diagonal, I really try and make him nice and forward to really push him forward into the contact, which again, going towards the sheep field, he just pokes his nose up a little bit in that far corner. And then for the final couple of movements of this dressage test, I have to prepare him for a half a 10 meter circle, going up the center line and then halt and salute at G. I do think Ruffian relaxed more as the test went on. 
and then coming down the centre line for his halt and for him this was an excellent halt, he always likes to poke a leg out and I was really pleased with him. And we scored a 29. Right, so we've just finished the dressage which he ran through quite nicely um, but there was a sheep field to the right of my arena so his walk, um, free walk on a long range was a bit interesting because he kept looking at all the sheep, he wasn't concentrating on the actual dressage test at hand but um, it was a nice first test back into eventing and the cat transitions were a bit wobbly but he did quite a nice halt at the end so all in all quite pleased going into the show jumping. As soon as Ruffian realised we were jumping he lit up and actually became quite strong and a little bit cheeky. So coming into his show jumping round he was rather keen and jumping in he was on the wrong leg so after the second fence I asked him to come back into trot um, and he had a little bit of a tantrum about it and then picked up the correct lead and then jumped the third fence nicely and was on the correct lead leg coming round to the fourth which he jumped nicely and I got a good stride to and then again landing on the correct leg going left round to the double Again, Broadway is really hilly, so the show jumping had a little bit of terrain. And here I tried to sit Ruffian up on the corner and he just decided to take a long one into this double, so I was really worried in having the second part down, but luckily he managed to correct himself. And the next fence he jumped lovely, and then we're on a little bit of a downhill slope coming to the next fence, which was one of the nicest fences he jumped around this course, but I felt the whole way round he was just trying to pull my arms out, he wasn't really listening, um, and he was really kind of keen to get basically onto the cross country course. And then coming round the last corner to the last fence, I just made him sit and wait a little bit too much, and unluckily we just had the last fence down. And then a quick change around to the cross country, which Ruffian was really excited for, and jumped the first three really beautifully out of stride. And as it was the first event back, I was really pleased with how excited he was to go cross country. As Ruffian isn't always the most confident out on course, it made me really happy to see him really enjoying himself with his ears pricked all the way round. And even with his water combinations, he jumped in over that little house a few strides before the water. He had a little look at the water but was very confident in going through it and then over the last um, and we got inside the time. Right, so we're now all finished. Um, the show jumping was a little bit hectic, one of my best rounds to date. Um, we had the last down, um, and then cross country, he was super, um, a really nice cost of clear, and very pleased with him, and it was a really nice to ease back into eventing. And then we arrived safely back at the yard, and I always think it's super important for your horse to um, really enjoy itself out in the field, have a nice roll, basically just letting it be a horse again after eventing. And yeah, that was our first event back. I was really pleased with our results, and thank you so much for watching.